In this video, we will discuss the differences between weld joint and rivet joint. So, the very first difference, weld joint does not require holes on the component to be joined. However, edge preparations can be carried out prior to the welding. So, in case of weld joint, the holes need not to be drilled over the parent component which is to be joined. But the edge preparation is required and it depends on the thickness of the parent material. So here you can see the different types of edge preparation like single V, single U, double V, double U, single bevel, double bevel, single J, double J. So the edge preparation depends on the thickness of the material to be joined. Now the rivet joint. Rivet joint requires a series of holes on the component prior to the riveting for the passage of rivets. So in case of rivet joint, the series of hole has to be drilled over the component to be joined. Next point, strength of the weld joint is very high. Weld structure have strength equal to that of parent component. So here you can see the welded joint and sometimes the strength of the weld portion is more than the strength of the entire component even. Okay, so the strength of weld joint is very high. Welded structure have strength equal to that of parent component. Now the rivet joint. Riveted structures have lower strength compared to the parent structure due to the reduced cross sectional area. Now here you can see the riveted structure. So as we have to drill a hole over the component to be joined, so it reduces the cross sectional area and that is why the strength of the riveted joint get reduced. So the riveted structure have lower strength compared to the parrot structure due to the reduced cross sectional area. Next point, load carrying capacity of the weld joint is much higher and also joints are reliable. So in case of weld joint, as it is having more strength, so its load carrying capacity is also high. Now the riveted joint. For same component joint by riveting, load carrying capacity will be lower due to the lower cross sectional area. So as the plate has lower cross sectional area due to the series of hole, its load carrying capacity is also get reduced. Next point. Welding, especially fusion welding process, changes the metallurgical properties of the material at the joint and surrounding it. So here you can see the welded joint. The metallur metallurgical changes are inherent to the welding processes. In some welding processes, the metal is heated to an elevated temperature and then it is cooled due to which the metallurgical changes are occurred in the weld bead and the material surrounding the weld bead that is known as heat affected zone. In case of rivet joint, riveting does not alter the metallurgical properties of the component. So here you can see the riveted joint. In riveting, the metal is not heated to an elevated temperature and thus no metallurgical changes are occurred in case of riveted joint. Next point. Welded joints are susceptible under vibrations. So the welded joints are susceptible under vibrations. They are prone to defects under vibrations and that is why the welded structures are not used or the welding process are not used for all the joinings in the bridges. Whereas rivet joint performs excellent under vibrations. So here you can see the riveted joints and which is used for the uh, for the breach so it performs excellent under vibration next point weld joint does not require any additional strap rivet etc however filler material can be used when the root gap is more so here you can see the gtaw process the arc is generated in between the electrode and the workpiece and the filler rod is used, it is optional. So when the filler rod is used, that type of welding is known as homogeneous or heterogeneous welding. And when the filler rod is not used, that type of welding is known as autogenous welding. So if the root gap is more in between the two plate, then the filler rod is used additionally. Now the rivet joint. 
Rivet joint inherently requires various accessories like rivet, strap, etc. However, so called filler metal is not required. So, these are the riveted joint. In case of rivet joint, it needs the additional accessories like the rivet and the strap plate. So, these are nothing but the strap plate. So, the rivet joint inherently requires various accessories like the rivets, straps. However, so called filler is not required. So, in case of rivet joint, the filler metal is not required. Next point welded structure are lighter in weight. So, as the additional accessories like rivet, uh, the strap plates are not used in case of weld joint, so the welded structures are lighter in weight. Rivet joint Riveted structures are heavier due to the usage of additional strap. So, in case of rivet joint, the additional accessories like rivets, strap is used and hence the riveted structures are heavier. Next point, a defect free weld joint does not change the dimension of the structure. So, the welding procedure do not change the dimension of the structure. Even the additional reinforcement or the additional welded metal can be removed by the grinding and hence the welded joint do not change the dimension of the structure. Rivet joint Dimensional changes is inherent to the riveting due to the application of additional plate and the rivets. So in case of rivet joint, the two plates are joined together with the help of rivets and the strap plate and that is why the dimensional changes are inherent to the rivet joint. Welding offer apparently magnificent joint so here you can see the welded joint now the rivet joint due to the presence of rivet head and the hammered portion opposite to the head appearance hammered hampered so here you can see the riveted joint so due to the presence of the rivet head and the hammered uh, hammered uh, shank end the hammered protruded shank end the appearance of the riveted joint gets hampered next point weld for weld joint it offers sliding surface as no protruding part exists on the surface Reinfor reinforcement can be removed by grinding so here you can see uh, with the help of grinding wheel we can remove the additional welded metal or the reinforcement and hence the welded joint can be used for the application where sliding motion is required. Now the riveted joint, it does not offer sliding surface as protruding part are inherent to the riveting. So here you can see the riveted joint. So as the uh, as it uses the rivet, so the rivet consists of head and as well as the shank end and due to which it cannot be used for the application where sliding motion is required because it do not provide the sliding surface. Next point, designing for the weld joint is simple and also time and cost efficient. So for welding purpose, there is no need to perform lot of calculations. Its design is comparatively simple and uh, also time and cost efficient. Now the rivet joint, designing for the rivet joint requires lot of calculation and thus time consuming. So here you can see the riveted joint. So lot of calculation has to be done prior to the riveting and also the number of holes has to be drilled prior to the riveting and hence the designing of the rivet requires lot of calculation and it is a time consuming process. Next point. Welding process is also a faster process. So as compared to riveting process, the welding process is fast process. Now the rivet joint. Riveting is one slow process as drill hole and hampered rivets require significant amount of time. So here you can see the process of riveting. So first of all the, the holes are to be drilled over the plate. Uh, for the passage of rivet then the rivets are inserted in that hole and then with some process the load is applied over the rivet so as to fix the rivet in the plate so like lot of calculations are required and again 
uh, the riveting process is a slow process as the drill hole and the hammering rivets require significant amount of time. Next point, welding can be used for joining of metal, ceramics, plastic and composite also. So the welding has wide range of application. It can be used for joining metals, ceramics, plastic and composites. Now the rivet joint. Riveting is suitable for joining metals only. So the riveted joints are suitable for joining the metals only. Next point. For weld joint, lab joining, bud joining, T joining, cylindrical joining, etc. are possible by welding. So here you can see the different type of joints with which the welding can be performed. Like the bud joint, bud joint, lab joint, edge joint, T joint, corner joint. So we have a wide range of joints in case of welding. Now the rivet joint. Riveting is suitable only for the bud joining. Lab joining requires additional strap. So, the riveting is suitable only for the bud joining. So, here you can see this is nothing but the single strap bud joint and the double strap bud joint. So, riveting is suitable for a bud joint only. The lab joint requires the additional strap plate. Next point and the last point. Welding has a vast area of applications starting from joining thin plate in automobile industries to the pipe joining. So the welding has wide range of applications. It is used for joining the sheet metals which are used in automobile and some other applications to the pipe joining which are used in refineries and in some other plants. Now the rivet joint, area of applications of riveting is narrow. Typical applications include pressure vessels, gas cylinder, boilers, etc. So, the area of application of riveting is narrow as compared to your welded joint. The riveted joints are particularly used in pressure vessels, gas cylinders, boiler, etc. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you.